everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the afternoon tea throw, which you can see a picture of it here. There are also uh, many more pictures on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com where you can also find the free written crochet pattern for this uh, pattern. The director link is going to be there for you in this video. So we're going to learn how to crochet this throw. I have my sample one here, which I can show you a corner of here. This is the blanket here, and it is made with a an eyelet chevron design. So it has alternating rows of a solid chevron pattern with a more open work. Uh, that means that the blanket is going to be fairly light and airy, uh, something that's not too heavy for you to wear all season long. So that's the blanket here. The pattern is worked in rows and it does have a uh, simple edging along the two short ends of the blanket. You're going to need three of the big Karen cakes, the Karen big cakes for this project. This is the one here. The color that I'm going to use today is Nightberry. The one that I used in the pattern itself is called Afternoon Tea. Each of these cakes has approximately 603 yards in it. So you're going to need definitely all three for this blanket pattern. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook. And then of course the written pattern, which I mentioned can be found on my blog. So thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time here, be sure to check out some of the other videos here on my channel and uh, we'll grab a hook and some yarn and get started on this afternoon tea throw. The afternoon tea throw, according to the pattern, if you're going to work it as such, it measures approximately 45 by 75 inches. And today we're going to start with a starting chain of 277 chains. Now, if you would like to change the size, so we're working lengthwise on it, if you would like to change the size of your afghan, you're going to need a multiple of 16 stitches plus five. Because this project is such a large project, in the tutorial today, I'm only going to be working a swatch, just so you can get an idea of how the stitches go together. So today, if I'm going to follow my multiple of 16 plus five stitches, I'm going to work a total of 69 stitches, and that's just going to give me a small swatch. So go ahead, if you're following the pattern, chain 277 stitches. Once you have your chain of 277 stitches, you're going to start by working one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So yarn over, count in four, one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, you're going to work one double crochet. The chain at your, your starting chain will always count as a stitch in this pattern. So always work it as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next chain and double crochet in the next chain. And you're going to do that twice. So skip the next chain, double crochet into the next. Skip the next chain and double crochet into the next. Next, you're going to double crochet into each of the next three chains. work five double crochet into the next chain, all into the same one. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And 
work one double crochet in each of the next four chains. Skip the next chain and double crochet into the next. And you're going to do that two times. So skip the next chain, double crochet, skip the next chain, and double crochet. We are now going to repeat, and that repeat is going to start back up, uh, beginning again at the skip skip a chain and double crochet. So you're going to do that two more times. Skip a chain, double crochet in the next stitch, skip a chain, and double crochet in the next stitch. You should start to see your chevron pattern or forming there. So you're going to have that wavy pattern coming out. Next you're going to double crochet in each of the next three chains. Work five double crochets into the next stitch. Then one double crochet in each of the next four chains. Skip the next chain and double crochet into the next stitch. Do that two times. There's one. Skip the next chain, work into the next, and then start your repeat. So do that two more times. Skip the next chain and double crochet into the next. Skip the next chain double crochet into the next. Double crochet in each of the next three. Five double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet in each of the next four. Skip the next chain and double crochet in the next. And skip the next chain and double crochet in the next. So you're going to continue to do that repeat uh, all the way across to your very last chain and then you're going to double crochet into that final chain. So go ahead and work that repeat all the way across. You're going to see your chevron like this coming out quite nicely and when you get to that final chain just double crochet into that final chain and you'll be all set to start row two. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're simply going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So 
single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. At the end of your row two, remember to single crochet into the top of that turning chain as it always counts as a stitch. Then chain three and turn your work. Your chain three again counts as a stitch. For row three, you're going to skip that first stitch because you have your chain three coming out which counts as a stitch and you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and you're going to double crochet into the next and chain one. You're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to do that twice. So double crochet into the next, chain one and skip the next stitch. Into the next stitch, you're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet all into that same stitch. Next, you're going to chain one. Skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next and you're going to do that twice. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're then going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next and you're going to do that twice. Skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're now going to start your repeat. So skip and the repeat starts um, back up at the first time you skipped the next stitch. So you're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, skip the next stitch into the next. You're going to double crochet, chain one, Skip the next and double crochet into the next one, chain one and skip the next stitch. Into the next stitch, all into the same one, you're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet, all into the same one. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're going to do that twice. Chain one, skip, double crochet. You're then going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. And once again, you're going to do that twice. Skip one, and double crochet. You're now going to start your repeat. Skip the next stitch, double crochet, skip the next, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, into that next stitch. You're going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet all, all into that same stitch. Chain one, skip the next one and double crochet, do that two times. Chain one, skip, double crochet, and skip the next one and double crochet and do that twice. 
and then repeat. So you're going to repeat that all the way across and it does seem like a little bit of a mouthful but trust me as you get going you will really see the chevron coming out and you will be able to feel uh, where your stitches are supposed to lie. So you will be getting that eyelet uh, look here coming now. So you're going to continue that all the way across uh, and then at the very end you're going to work your final stitch into your final single crochet and then chain one and turn your work. So at the end of your row three you're working a final double crochet into that final stitch. You're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of single crochet. So single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And into each chain space. For row five, you're going to chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of the solid double crochet chevron. You're going to start by skipping that first stitch because our chain three always counts as a stitch. And you're going to double crochet into the next. Next, you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next and you're going to do that two times. So skip one, double crochet, skip one, and double crochet. Next double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Work five double crochets into your next and this uh, group of five double crochet stitches should always fall over top of that center double crochet and the three below. This is four and five. Double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. You're now going to repeat. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And work five double crochets into the next stitch. Work one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Skip one and double crochet in the next. Skip one and double crochet in the next. And then go back to your repeat. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. And then one double crochet in each of the next three. So you're going to continue to repeat that pattern all the way across to the end. And then when you come to the end, you're going to chain one and turn your work. So at the end of uh, row five, you've chained one and you've turned your work. 
You are now simply going to repeat rows two, which is your single crochet row, through to five until your work from the beginning measures about 45 inches for your desired width. Okay, so your row two was your single crochet row, your row three is your open eyelet chevron row, row four, another single crochet, and then you have this solid chevron row. So continue to repeat those rows until it measures approximately 45 inches. You're going to go through the majority of your three big Karen cakes, and then you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends. Meet me back here, and we will go over the edging together. So once you have worked your blanket to the desired width, you're going to uh, work a brief, uh, simple edging along the short, unfinished edges of your blanket. So I've just worked a little swatch here. I'm going to quickly show you the edging. For your blanket, if you've worked it to 45 inches, you're going to start by single crocheting 145 stitches across. You're going to want to space them fairly evenly, but you will want 145 single crochet stitches. So once you have worked your blanket to your desired width or to approximately 45 inches, you can either fasten off and weave in your ends and then join your yarn to work your edging or you can just leave it attached. It's really up to you. So if you've left it attached, you're going to finish off that row and you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your blanket so that you're working along this, uh, your shorter edge. Now this is just my swatch here. Yours will be much longer, of course. Now you're going to start your edging and if your blanket measures approximately 45 inches, you are going to work 145 single crochets evenly spaced out along this rough edge. If you have changed the size of your blanket, you're going to need a multiple of six stitches plus one. Okay, so if it's 45, just simply work uh, 145 single crochets across or uh, the desired number with a multiple of six plus one. So I'm just going to work across And once you have your stitches worked all the way across, you're going to chain one and turn your work and begin row two. For row two, you're going to start by working one single crochet into that first stitch. You're going to skip the next two stitches and work five double crochets into the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and then you're going to repeat single crochet into the next, skip two stitches and work five double crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way across to your final three stitches and then skip the next two and single crochet into the final stitch. You can then fasten off and weave in your ends and your afternoon tea throw will be complete. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and feel free to check out some of the other videos there. And uh, thank you so much for joining me and stopping by. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.